This is in South Africa where a chase is underway. <laughs> The police had just been alerted on a truck which had been hijacked. We first see the cop rushing to the area in full speed. We then see a white Toyota Hilux right in front as the officer gets closer to the area. The Hilux was part of the recovery team as the officers rushed to try and intercept the truck. <laughs> this was now an intense chase in traffic with cars going back and forth. The robbers had no idea what was coming their way as they thought they had gotten away with the heist. The officer can be heard communicating on the radios as they coordinated a plan to approach the area and take down the culprits. Trucks are often targeted in South Africa. Robbers often wait on highways with guns to intercept and hijack trucks carrying valuables. They then abandon these trucks after stealing the valuables inside. This was a similar scenario, but this time they had no idea what was coming their way. The chase continues along the road as the road clears with less and less traffic. This made it a bit easier for the cops to try and rush to the scene and lessen the possibility of these clowns escaping. We then see the truck that was hijacked as the cops finally intercepted the truck. There was no escape for these culprits as the cops made sure these clowns were brought down. Okay, it's the Alright, you can slow it up with the thing of the user. Give me a run. On the next video, we see a cop slamming into a car in the United States. These culprits had been wrecked. The cop was definitely not about to let them escape. More and more cops joined the chase as this scene looked straight out of an action movie. The culprits were speeding off there as they seemed to have a faster vehicle, but the cop was not about to let them get away that easily. Uh, High-speed chases are common in the United States. These culprits seem to be out maneuvering the cops here as the officers try different tactics to try and stop the vehicle. In this scenario, the traffic helped a little as it slowed the criminals down just for a second there. The officer managed to catch up. The officers continued to apply more and more pressure as the culprit looked to be running out of options here. That stretch of clear road made it a bit more difficult for the pursuing officer as the culprits definitely had the faster car here. The cops had to strategize another way to try and stop this vehicle. This car was hella fast as it sped away from the officer there. The cops were definitely losing this one for a second there. We see there as the other officers tried to throw spikes, but this also failed to stop the vehicle. These culprits were not about to make it easy for the cops to end this chase. That was super close there. The officer almost managed to hit the vehicle. This clowns were not ready for this circus to end, but it was bound to end somehow. 
more police vehicles can now be seen as the chase becomes more intense with each passing second. That was definitely a dull move by the culprits as they ran straight onto the cop's vehicle. The cops were now determined to end the chase right here as they saw a window to try and force a stop. <laughs> It's astonishing how that vehicle is still moving after that onslaught. Just as we thought the chase was over, it turns out the vehicle managed to escape that chaos and continued on. We see this officer now following the vehicle again, as they now try and end it once and for all this time. How these culprits are still driving this car is absolutely unbelievable. Earlier we had seen how wretched the vehicle had become. The vehicle had passed through this area where the road was under maintenance, and we can see the havoc it had left behind. This was now game over for these clowns. How they managed to get this far is absolutely astonishing. The officers took down these clowns well, and ended this circus. Props to the men of the force for their relentless pursuit of justice. Here we start with this officer on a bike, during an active chase. This man was on a mission as he sped along the road passing traffic like it wasn't even there. The cop had one thing in mind, and that was to stop the culprits by any means. Bikes have an added advantage during these chases as they can maneuver in spaces where vehicles can't, but they can also be extremely dangerous since they can be easily toppled leading to serious injury or death for the officer. This shows how brave these officers are in South Africa as they risk a lot to try and stop the crime ravaging the nation. The officer had to catch up to the criminals as he communicated with the pursuing team on the location of the targeted vehicle. Since he is on a bike, it is always paramount to try not get too close as he is more exposed. These culprits carry guns in most situations and are known for being trigger happy. The cop continues to communicate with the pursuing team as they try and execute this perfectly. In most cases strategy plays an integral role in these dangerous situations. We see as he finally caught up with the pursuing team. We then see the blue car being pursued in this situation. Once he confirmed and saw the situation, he knew exactly what to do next there. We see him rush forward to try and signal the traffic on the road. He had to clear the area and make it easy for the officers to try and stop the culprits without risking innocent lives and property. He then gets into position and takes out his firearm. Oh, 
That was some expert skills there taking out the wheels to try and slow down the car. Props to that officer for executing this well and effortless. The vehicle was stopped and the culprits were arrested. Props to these brave officers for doing their jobs expertly here.